Not cutting out any parking space is totally ludicrous. I think parallel parking will jam up Park Avenue worse than it is now. When people diagonal park, they're all aware how dangerous backing up is. They back up very slowly. I have not heard of or known in the 20 years I've lived here of any accidents caused by angle parking on 3rd Avenue. Uh, and in addition, personally as a businessman, you take those parking spaces away, my older patrons will stop coming to my restaurant. They'll come to any restaurant. Uh, Kathleen's too. Because they aren't going to walk from over on 4th Street to get to where we are. Those shops are closed. They don't care about it down there. Absolutely not. Change angle parking, you're going to have a right. And I'll leave it. I saw to just leave this stuff alone. Now leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wonder how many times do you have to be told? If you would like to stay in this meeting, you'll conduct yourself in a way no, that will be there. No, you're not here. You're not hearing what everybody's trying to tell you. Here, you just keep saying, no, well, let's go back to page 10. Let's vote on it. Get it over with. This business to conduct, sir. And we must do get it. through this today. And do it. We do not have time do to it. disrupt it. Do it. We will finish the business on page 10. We can't really dictate where those trucks go because they, a lot of them come out here, as they say to it. Well, I mean, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right, Skip. Well, these guys are going to park wherever they want. You can put in loading zones. You can have them arrested, ticketed if they don't park where you tell them to park because the drivers aren't going to get the message. They'll stop delivering. The businesses will be closed. You'll have your gated community. Too many rules. It's not broken. If two weeks out of the year, three weeks out of the year, people have to wait for five or ten minutes for an unloading, then, you know, I think it all, everything y'all are proposing here, there's no problem there. Why are we trying to fix it? How many people have been hit going through these intersections you're trying to repair? None. None. What is all, if you really want to do something, get rid of something dangerous, let's go down to the bridge and get rid of them damn speed bumps they just put in. <laughs> happening here in town now, we're trying to fix something that ain't broke. You're talking about taking nine parking spots away, that's going to add your traffic, I mean your vehicle problem, because you've got nine more cars certainly looking for a place to park. Every time somebody goes to parallel park, they're going to stop in the middle of the road, the car behind them is going to stop behind them, the one behind them is going to stop. Now they can't get into their parking spot because it's jammed up. That is ignorance. And there's no, since we got on this, there's no curb, so they're going to park more on the sidewalk or more in the middle of the road. Because there's no curb to judge the 12 inches that you're supposed to, within 12 inches from a curb. Isn't that the law within 12 inches? So I can't even believe this is being discussed, much less considered. Ludicrous to take away the yeah. angle park. Ludicrous. 